Yep. Well, but then nothing that I don't need anyway. Whoa, this is that that's was, that way. Was a quick stop. <laughs> wow, that dropped. That was like being on a plane with turbulence. Oh gosh. Dude, it feels like we just keep getting lower and lower. Oh my. Oh gosh. And we're moving. So we are, uh, took a lift up to the top of Schweitzer Mountain uh, and up here you can get a beautiful view of Lake Ponderé and the whole range out here. It's a little smoky, uh, you can't smell any smoke but unfortunately it's, it's a ways out there and it's kind of hard to see but we can make it. makes it everything blue. Yeah, uh, really got a beautiful bar uh, restaurant up here so we're going to go in there and get a drink and check out the view and then of course uh, so much hiking, mountain biking just about anything mountainous that you want to do. Climbing, I saw they had um, some climbing rocks and some stuff down below and uh, $20 a person to take a scenic uh, deal up the lift. So uh, definitely worth it just to see this awesome view. That's good. <laughs> What'd you get? So I got, it's called Summertime Lemonade and it's vodka, I think it's huckleberry vodka and lemonade and some soda. It's super good. It's one thing about coming, like crossing out of Oregon and Washington. Once you get to Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, they're all about Huckleberry. I like it. So we found a half mile loop trail around. It says scenic, scenic loop. I think is what it's called. Summit. Says. Summit loop. Um, that goes around to the lodges, just a short distance up there. Um, so we're hiking through the trees, and it smells really good out here. I know we always talk about the smell of trees. Yeah, I know, but it's... It does smell good. Beautiful, for sure. Yeah. So what we were saying, it uh, reminds us a little bit of Jackson Hole. Uh, I'll link that video above. If you're curious to know a little bit about Jackson Hole, that's a cool um, mountain town as well. An absolutely beautiful place to live, so I'm envious of anybody that does live there. Uh, but this Sandpoint, Idaho area, uh, a little bit more affordable for folks. So far, a very beautiful uh, city they've got here. And here's the sign they have the summit view loop they have points of interest signs this one talks about huckleberries and mountain ash which are both loved by bears <laughs> yeah we were worried about bears in yellowstone and now watch we're going to get eaten by a grizzly walking around this summit thing in sandpoint idaho <laughs> so we hiked up a hill and we're at 6700 feet so bear with the out of breath bear with it get it bear bear oh bear nice work babe so, so some of the animals you may see here at Schweitzer include bat. <laughs> some of the animals you may see here at Schweitzer include black bear, moose, white-tailed deer, and ground squirrels. The Selkirks are so we're in the Selkirk Mountains. Selkirks are also home to mountain goats, elk, mule deer, cougar, lynx, wolverine, wolves, woodland caribou, and grizzly bears. Selkirks are only one of six areas in the U.S. that still support grizzly bears. However, it's estimated that there are only about 35 to 40 grizzlies in the mountain range. Uh, how many? 35 to 40. Grizzlies? Grizzlies. Here? In the Selkirk Mountains. Not at Schweitzer. No, in, they're in the here. mountain range. Oh, damn it. Wolves have begun to form packs in the Selkirk Mountains naturally as of 2005 and are be becoming well established once again. Wish us luck. We're underprepared. I didn't know there were like grizzly bears around this place. Luckily, it's only half a mile, so we're gonna we're gonna risk the biscuit. <laughs> you know what they say? What goes up must go down. Must come down. Good. Absolutely amazing view. I can't imagine how beautiful it is in the winter time, uh, but this is awesome. We looked online at some pictures. If you're interested? Go Google images of Schweitzer Mountain. You can see it in the in the snow. You just have the bright blue lake with white snow all around. definitely a must do absolutely beautiful um, and it's unlimited right for 20 bucks uh, yeah I believe so I think you, well yeah because they, yeah, they she said it was the same as the mountain bikes and they go up and down a whole, or 
Right. I've got a whole bunch of time for this. <laughs> they ride their bikes down. So yeah, highly recommend if you come to this area, check out Schweitzer, come up the lift, go to the bar up top, eat, do whatever. Really yeah. cool. So what this is, they have a blended beer lineup. They took their blonde ale, it's called the Tipsy Toehead Blonde Ale, and mixed it with locally made huckleberry puree. So it's called a huckleberry blonde ale. And I got a smashing pumpkin because it's pumpkin season. Bring on the pumpkin beer. Cheers. All right, so just had the mill at McDuff's. Uh, really cool building. It used to be a post office. Yeah, what, the you say building about was built in 1927, and it used to be the it was the original post office for Sandpoint. They bought it in 2019, and then redid everything inside to uh, make it into their little brewery. Mm -hmm. So the uh, restaurant itself really cool to walk in there, just all old. And the bottom uh, floor is the part of the brewery, so you can actually see where the brewing gets done, and then uh, just all old and historic inside. Uh, food was awesome. Fantastic. Yeah, food I mean, was so good. Usually you think, you know, you go to a brewery, you know, especially in a small, smaller town, and it's just, you know, your basic pub fare. Man, as soon as I walked in, there were four things on the menu that I wanted to order, and I ended up with the chicken ciabatta, and it was fantastic. Yeah, and I, great sandwich. we were talking about um, other places to eat, and we're like, let's just come back here every night. We'll try uh, different beers, and we'll try right. different food menu, <laughs> menu items. If you're on Sandpoint, though, and you're looking for a place to eat, um, highly recommend it, though, for the food and the beer. Duffs. That was good. All right, so stop number two. We are at, what is it? Sandpoint City Beach. Sandpoint City Beach. So this is a pretty neat little spot. Uh, beautiful out here. Mm -hmm. uh, all on Lake Ponderé, and it's got um, just a cool beach area. Uh, they actually have lifeguards out here. Right, they have swim areas. They have um, logs blocking it off, so you have an actual swim, true swim area. Mm -hmm. With lifeguards, yeah. There's multiple lifeguards out here. Lifeguards, playgrounds, sand volleyball courts, just a swing, swing set. sets. It's beautiful green, Picnic grass. Tables. Uh, just looks very f uh, family friendly. It's mm -hmm. just kids everywhere. Uh, paddle boarders, boats. It uh, just looks like a really nice, uh, safe place to come and hang out. And then after here, what we're going to do is from City Beach, and we can walk down to the historic district of uh, Sandpoint. Highly recommend if you get a chance to stop by uh, the city park uh, if you want to spend a day by the water. Uh, looks like a really nice place to hang out. All right, so one of the spots that they say to come to is this little. Statue of Liberty that they have on the pier, a uh, little spot for a selfie. So that's what we're going to do. interesting drive-through convenience store never seen one of those before all right so would you look at that <laughs> our uh, second night in Sandpoint and look where we are we did what we said we were gonna do <laughs> uh, here's a here's a funny thing about Sandpoint cool town beautiful town if you ever get a chance to visit the problem is is that um, not a lot of places to eat and half of the places were closed at like 6 o'clock I don't know what's going on uh, all the stores and stuff are closed downtown they have these really cool like western type furniture stores and stuff that we wanted to go check yeah. out. Kim just wanted to get a sweatshirt. I just want a sweatshirt. And I can't there's no stores open to even find a sweatshirt. Yeah. I mean it's so, only got I don't know if it's because like you know we've we've now we're now past Labor Day, so there's the kids are back in school. Maybe this is like their downtime before the winter season hits because they know they're gonna be super busy again then. True. So maybe this is <clears throat> excuse me, when they decide to, you know. Maybe this is when they take all take vacation, like we're taking vacation. No, actually, we're not taking vacation because we're working. But anyway, uh, cool town, just not a lot of options for food. So, in fact, the rest of the time that we're here, we're actually going to head um, south uh, to what was it? Hayden. Hayden, and then even maybe Carter Lane, um, just because there's a little bit more options there for uh, food and stuff. So, cool town, quaint town, uh, beautiful place. Um, you know, we'll probably mark it off our list of places that we may 
public to move to um, just because it's a little too quiet for us I think but um, definitely a spot to come visit though yeah. for sure I mean I, absolutely gorgeous the yeah. lake is Lake Ponderay I yeah, mean beautiful. every piece that we've attached to it mm -hmm. has been absolutely gorgeous mm -hmm.